Hey guys, so I just got the Google Home and the Google Home Mini. Now I'm going to be unboxing both of these, telling you the differences and recommending you which one you should get for what situation. Now let's start with the Google Home Mini. The Google Home Mini and the Google Nest Mini, which is the Google Home Mini Gen 2, have a few physical differences. To begin, they changed the micro USB into a DC adapter plug. In addition, they also included a hanging hook for you to hang your Google Home on the wall. Nest Mini has an additional microphone and boasts twice the amount of bass compared to the Home Mini. I will now play you the startup chime for the Google Nest Mini. Hi, to get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. All right, now we unbox the Google Home. I will now play the startup chime for the Google Home. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. The Google Home speaker has very punchy bass. Definitely a step up from the Nest Mini, but far from what you actually want as a party speaker. As you can see here, the volume is adjusted by the touch sensitive surface and is very intuitive. Similar to a dial, a clockwise turn turns volume up and a counterclockwise turn turns the volume down. It's been a few days, as you can see, my background has changed. I installed this IKEA Scatis thingamabob. So yeah, I can hang up my stuff. Anyway, so it's been a few days. I've used the Google Home a bit and I've listened to some music, played around with it, talked to it, you know, so now I'm here to give my feedback on what I think about these three different Google Homes. So the first difference is the Google Home Gen 2 is a lot better than the Google Home Gen 1. The sound quality, the bass, even the microphone is a lot better I feel. Because when you speak to it, it's able to hear you more clearly. The bass is a lot more punchier and there's a richer sound coming from it. And since there's no price difference, definitely go for the Google Home Gen 2 if you're gonna buy this. But most of the time, the Gen 1, if it's still even sold, will be on very big discounts. Now, the biggest difference is the Google Home Gen 2 Mini and the Google Home. Now, this difference is, is a drastic difference. Clearly, for two different situations. This one is just for you to litter wherever you want, put as many as you can all over your house. This one is if you want nice sound, nice music, better quality in general. The bass in this sounds so much better and the volume can get so much louder. So if you're actually going for a larger room or say you need to fill up a larger space, definitely go for the Google Home. Even though it's about twice as more expensive, the sound quality is a lot better and it's a lot louder. So I definitely go for the Google Home. So when it comes to the Google Home you wanna buy, clearly don't buy this unless it's on like a gigantic discount. So let's put that aside. Now between these two, if you just want the Google Home function, you can get this. And to be honest, if you already have existing speakers, you can buy a Chromecast audio, or if your existing speaker is Bluetooth, you can just put that as the default speaker and use your existing speaker as a Google Home and use this as its Google Home connection. But if you don't have any existing speakers and you want to have a nice sounding home system that you can play music on, ask questions, and it can respond, go for the Google Home. It's a lot more worth it. It's a lot better for the living room or yeah, the bigger spaces in your house that you need to fill up. This one just won't cut it. 